Hey everybody, I want to wheeze them here. It is Sunday night, Monday morning, 2.27 a.m., the 28th of November. I hope everyone had a th- great Thanksgiving, at least here in the U.S. Uh, for everybody else, I hope you just had a good weekend in general. This is my third attempt now. Uh, first video, we had a 16-minute rant that ended upon World War II Japan and socioeconomic stuff. Uh, video number two, we spent a lot of time covering Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and here in video number three, I'm going to try to keep it concise. We've had about eight-minute rants here at the majority of these videos. This is a byproduct of what happens when I have to crank these out under enormous time constraints. For example, I should be asleep right now. I have to be at work in a few hours. Uh, I busted my butt. I got all the videos uploaded for the holiday when I would be away, so you'd have daily Skylander videos. Um, now I'm back to a point where I'm home, and I have nothing <laughs> And so I've got to record this video, get it edited, get it uploaded, and then schedule it, and you will see it tomorrow afternoon here in a couple of hours. Uh, that's where we're at there. Um, biggest question I've had while I was away is like, hey, you know, did you get that Jingle Bell Chompy Mage they sent out? Simple answer, I don't know. <laughs> I left, uh, you know, Tuesday and Wednesday I did not go to work, so I don't know if anything was delivered. Thursday was Thanksgiving, Friday I wasn't at work, we were closed, I don't know if anything came. So I simply do not know. For all I know, if it was sent, it could be headed back to Activision headquarters. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, if I get, if I show up at work tomorrow and Jingle Bell Chompy Mage arrives, I assure you, first chance I get tomorrow night when I'm home from work, you will be unboxed. I will upload that video, and you will probably be seeing it Tuesday. Uh, if that is not the case, no clue. Uh, so I would assume the way they do that stuff is based on like subscriber count, but you know, I don't know, maybe it's like, oh, you know, that Weezum guy, he's, he's so cool. Been with the game since SSA, you know, the early days of it, uh, Pioneer, d- does things nobody else does. He's the one that asked us for the name of all the enemies when no one else even cares, you know. I don't know, I honestly would assume they go by, well, this person has a much bigger reach than that guy, but who knows, so uh, if it's there, it's there, maybe there will be other things, I don't know, but I mentioned that because Wave 3 is out, (laughs) and uh, if you've been with me for a long time, you know I hate shopping and I hate crowds, therefore I despise Black Friday, I don't go into stores on Black Friday, I don't care how much money I save, if I were to give you the Cliff Note version of Rants 1 and 2 about Black Friday, you could take a Dodge Viper, okay, one of my favorite cars, and you could jump it across the Grand Canyon, and you could resurrect Marilyn Monroe, okay, and she could be shotgun with you, and you could land that thing, and then you could go and you could walk on and be the quarterback for an NFL team and lead them to a Super Bowl win, stop that, you know, win the Daytona 500, and then you could move on and you could, uh, I don't know, uh, win the NBA Finals single-handedly, all right? Uh, LeBron James was traded from Cleveland to Golden State, and, you know, you went to, sadly, my Mavericks are not doing so well. You showed up there, and, I mean, you just, you gg tend them. You know, you swept them in four games. They they didn't even play the fourth game because they were so embarrassed after the first three that you slaughtered them. They just, they forfeited game four of the NBA Finals. What I'm getting at is if you're one of those people that is outside of a store, particularly a Walmart, and you camp there, okay, I'm fine if you go in and you buy a TV, you don't mind the crowd, you really want a TV, your TV broke, and you save so much money on that TV, on that particular sale or day, regardless if it's Black Friday, that you can get a sound bar, or you can pick up an Xbox One S, or whatever it may be, a Skylander starter pack, who knows. If you're one of the ones that camps outside overnight to rush into Walmart, nothing you can do, including the scenario I gave you stretching from jumping a Viper with Marilyn Monroe across the Grand Canyon to winning the NBA Finals in three games because the team was so sad that they were you know, uh, just dejected after playing you three games. They didn't even want to take on a fourth and lose to you once more. You can never overcome that, okay? You will never be cool to me if you're that person that camps outside of Walmart to go inside. Or Best Buy. I don't like that store. I don't like any store, really. But the bottom line is camping outside, running in with that dorky grin, pushing people around, the day after Thanksgiving, in all likelihood going in to buy gifts for your family, friends, loved ones, while you're practicing, you know, 
greed and other evil uh, yeah. no <laughs> so uh, to answer your question do I have any other new Skylanders no <laughs> I don't and uh, I'll go when I have to run to the store I had a really nice uh, rant about the grocery store uh, and Taco Bell and McDonald's and you know you 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 do that you you want to go to the grocery store and have such a great time that you talk yourself into going to Taco Bell and McDonald's and then you finally get burned out on that and you have to go to the store that's how I equate going to Walmart and sort of a thing but uh, we've we've trimmed these two stories down fairly quickly so to recap these first two for you I don't do Black Friday. I've got nothing new to show you. If Jingle Bell Chomping Mage was sent out, I don't know about it. That said, right here, and this is important, this is really the main thing, if, if you didn't know. Creation Crystals. I've had a couple of people uh, for quite some time, and then more so here lately, probably because, hey, you know, Thanksgiving is over, Christmas is coming, a lot of people will be getting the game for the first time uh, here over the holiday season, you know. So... It's been, hey, are you going to unbox those creation crystals? I want to, but to try and stick to the crux of the matter here, okay? We've got Air Crystal 1, Air Crystal 2, and Air Crystal 3. Being 100% honest with you, I do not have the money to go out and purchase the complete set. The typical person, the person on a budget you're going to want to come in and you're probably going to want one creation crystal of each of the ten elements. If you come in, you know, and you you just absolutely love the water element, you know, and you want to make a water element bazooka and, you know, swashbuckler and uh, quick shot and, uh, you know, bow slinger, whatever it may be, then, yeah, you might have a person that they just stack up, you know, five or so water element crystals and a couple others. But there's very few people that can go out and justify purchasing... Ten crystals to make, you know, your one Imaginator for every battle class, for every element. That would be a very expensive endeavor. I have no way of doing that. Uh, similarly, I really can't finance just getting the complete set. And I bring up the complete set because what I would like to do, if I said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this right for you, I would probably showcase the packaging with one in it, right? Tell you it's $9.99, and then I would open it up, and then we would have a cut, and we would come back, and in my little hand, I would have three crystals, the complete set, if you will. And I could say, all right, guys, these are your three air creation crystals. This is your different aesthetics options. We'd sort of showcase each one briefly. And then based on that, you can say, man, I really want that one that he showed first. And I can't tell you the name for it, because for some reason they didn't put names with them. You would think after Trap Team, they would have kind of not done this. <laughs> you know. And I bring that up because it's a situation, again, I stress this and people don't believe me, but a lot of you people in the megalopolises on the coastal regions, East Coast, West Coast, Florida, California... If you go inland, you know, and you get out of the Midwest, you know, you don't go to the other Toys R Us or Best Buy number four in your area. You've got one, and a lot of times you're not within five hours of a Toys R Us. A lot of times you're not within two or three hours of a Best Buy, okay? These aren't stores that are just, like, on the corner. It's not like a Walmart and a McDonald's type of a scenario, okay? What I bring that up for is, if you can't go to a brick-and-mortar store, or if you can, maybe you've got a GameStop and a Walmart in your town, right? And you go there, they might have Air, Tri Air Crystal 1 and Air Crystal 2, but you want 3. So, you save up some time, you go on a weekend, you drive the 2 hours to the Toys R Us or the Best Buy or the other stores in town, you still can't find it. You're left with ordering it online. When you go to an authorized retailer, you know, Amazon, GameStop, Toys R Us, you can't go in and buy Air Crystal number three, okay? They're going to sell you an Air Creation Crystal. And when you get it, it could be this one that you already have, or this one that's the only one that are at your local stores. And you think, hell, I'll beat them at their own game. I'll just get all three. Bad news. <laughs> you could order three air creation crystals and get three of this one, or you could get three of the one you already have, and you will never see this one. And what I'm getting at is the best way to showcase these is, as I stated, in my hand, the complete set. And then you can go about it in your own means of trying to track down the crystal you want. Some people won't care. 
But the people that I cater to and that have been watching my channel for years, that's the sort of attention to detail you expect from me, and I simply have no way of delivering it to you. The killer thing here, we could do a decent job of it here, but you can't make these bigger. There's nothing I can do to, like, zoom in to get a full screen. Nothing. Uh, and there's also no names for them, and so that's literally one, two, and three. Um, this was the same way with trap team. Some of you are like, yeah, I really need that, you know, fire scream trap or, you know, the life tiki or whatever. And the community had their lingo. That meant absolutely nothing if you went to the store. Uh, the only time you're going to find that same lingo applied is with the eBay scalpers, <laughs> you know, that pillage off the community. And... So I can unbox them, I can do a decent job of showcasing them. They'd be fairly short videos, especially by my standards. But uh, that's what I want to know from you is, do you want to see it? Like, I've got one air crystal. Do you want to see it? I think I've got two earth crystals. Do you want to see them? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And uh, I think I'm going to roll with this video because I need to be asleep right now. <laughs> and it's a shorter rant than the other two. So here we are with Tri-Tip. Standard old Tri-Tip here, our good friend. Uh, I took Legendary Tri-Tip down the Paleolithic Pounder path, and I absolutely love it. I'm very excited to see... I also had a rant about this lever again. I've mentioned that several times. But anyway, uh, it's a little bittersweet to me. Basically, if you didn't know from my unboxings in the introduction videos, Legendary Tri-Tip actually comes in with better stats, particularly the attack. Standard Tri-Tip is sitting at 6, Legendary at 16. Uh, the armor is also doubled up for Legendary. But that changes things. So like Box Stock, Tri-Tip right here, he's going to do 48 to 72. Okay, uh, His jump attack is 74 to 111. Legendary... His pound is going to be uh, 52 to 78, so that's plus 4, plus 6. And then his jump attack, 81 to 122, instead of the 74 to 111. So the reason I mention that is I'm not going to take the time to actually go down Paleolithic Pounder. I'm hoping at some point I can understand a numeric or some equation they used, and we can reduce back, you know, from 16 to 10 damage and try to calculate what it might be roughly. Uh, but I've got people, you know, wanting more and more and more, you know, videos or introductions, and I've got less and less time. And right now I'm in a very bad time crunch because I've been gone. <laughs> so... Uh, like I said, I still, even when I say I busted my butt to get those videos done, I still don't consider that hard work. That was just very, it's like I've always said, making these videos is very far from hard work, but it is very, very time consuming. Uh, there is a difference between time consuming work and hard work. If you don't know that, you've probably never worked hard in your life. <laughs> and uh, that said, time consuming, I think everyone can relate to. That's like studying hours and hours on end for your test or your finals or whatever it may be or that stupid project your teachers have you do that has absolutely nothing to do with anything that will ever benefit you in your life yet you still have to do because they decide to make it for x percentage of your grade which is abnormally high for as lackluster and pointless as it all is nonetheless before we get off on another tangent what i'm getting at is we're going to go straight to jurassic justice i'm not too concerned with what standard tri-tip would have done on paleolithic pounder if i had more free time Time, if I did this for a living, uh, if I was retired and did this stuff, you know, JFF, I would do it. But right now is not the time. Maybe later on we can do it, but uh, for now it's just going to be a blank space in the spreadsheet. Uh, and I say that only because I made a separate spreadsheet for Legendary Tri-Tip to log his. Similarly, I love him on Paleolithic Pounder. I'm not going to take him down Jurassic Justice. So my apologies there, but that is what it is. So... What we want to do is come in now. How far in the video are we? 14 minutes. Fantastic. Well, uh, and another reason for these, you know, rants and updates and do I have Chompy Mage? Do you want to see this? I don't have time to make the channel updates. I don't have time, you know, to like pull people on this and other videos. I literally, it's 2 a.m. and I've got to make this video, crank it out and have it for you here in a couple hours and Obviously, uh, the majority of that time I'm going to be at work and should have been asleep, so <laughs> it it gets to be a bit hectic, needless to say. However, let's come in here, and again, if you want to see Paleolithic Pounder, 
Legendary tri-tip has it. I love it. It's an amazing path. I highly recommend it. Uh, my logic for taking him down it is, number one, I thought I would like it better, and he does more damage since he's got the increased uh, attributes. But number two, I just saw the new legendary color scheme tying in better with that. And even more so with Jurassic Justice, I see the standard color scheme for tri-tip tying in best with it. That's my logic. You may agree, you may disagree, but, you know, that's my reasoning behind the decision. So, you know, make of it what you will. But let's get going here. Once more, Paleolithic Pounder is uploaded. You can see it with the legendary tri-tip. Right here, strengthen your charge and fossil skills for strategic control. Uh, Jurassic Justice is the path name. Let's go ahead and pick that. All right, so we begin. Uh, of course, we're going to need, what, 6,900, I believe, uh, to pick all these up. You get new horns. Now, pay attention. See that in the artwork there, especially here and here? Look at this. This is sort of like the prism break dilemma, I'm afraid. Some of you may uh, see this and, you know, never take this path for tri-tip if you hate the horns. If you love the horns, you might want it with both characters, but... You get new horns, and after doing a dino dash, you gain a shield and take less damage. This is a tie-in with the old-school plus 40 armor that we historically saw for the Earth Element characters. One of my favorite things in the game. But, let's talk about... Oh, there it is. You know, that's not that bad. That's really not. It looks way better in person, or I should say, you know, in-game now than it did in the thumbnails there, the inset artwork. I wonder if those would be gold on legendary tri-tip. Interesting question. If you took legendary tri-tip down this path, let me know if it's like... I know they're kind of like gold now, but you know what I mean? Like the legendary gold, the bright gold, the conventional, sort of like more of the light shining from that window gold. Uh, let me know, because I would be curious to know what that looks like, but uh, not a terrible change. So, our dino dash looks like so. One, two, and dash. Oh, cool. That's very cool. So, what I want to know first, before we count the duration on that, we have got a situation where the Dino Dash, I said 1-2 because the stomps actually do damage. A lot of people oblivious to that because you usually charge, you know, from a distance. <laughs> but that 1 and then 2, that will do damage. It did 8 to 12 initially. And then we were doing 93 to 140 on the dash. Let's go ahead and count the shield time. Five second shield, I'm going to say. I'm very tired. Like I said, I should truthfully be asleep right now. I was doing what was best for me personally. <laughs> That's, uh... Anyway, let's see if we do any extra damage. I'm not sure that we're going to. Oh, we don't. That's sad. Come back down here, fool. And of course, the sad thing to me is, you know, we have no way of, like, initiating enemies that could damage us to be able to log in what that actually does. That could be amazing. It could be a deal where, say, that dummy was going to hit us at 10. It might nerf him to 0. It might take it down that much. You know, we just, at, here and there, we don't have a chance to do it. So, five second shield after Dino Dash. I guess, should I say new horns? I might ought to put that in here. I'd feel bad if I didn't and someone took it and they hated them. <laughs> new Miss. Why did I type that? New horns. Swiss Miss. Who knows what I'm thinking? Alright, so that's that. Simple enough. Can't argue with that. You can put your didn't pull the switch like you thought I was going to do there. Here we've got Fossil Forte. You summon fossil traps faster, and you deal critical hits to enemies tarred by them. Alright, now if that ties in with the mace, and the jump attack, and everything like that, that'll be pretty amazing. Let's showcase this. It takes about... I didn't add the time in this one. I did on Legendary. It takes about three seconds. And what I mean by that, it's our tertiary attack. We get three dino heads. Oh, I hate that lever so much. The placement of that thing, I just cringe. <laughs> See that duration there? And then we've got the heads again. If you walk into them, they will dissipate. But it's... Only pausing so I can yawn. 
the way they work, when they pop up out of the ground after you've summoned them, which is a pretty significant duration there, you get three traps. Uh, they're going to do the 53 to 80 when they pop up out of the ground, and then they bite four times at 16 to 24. So let's count now. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. Uh, you know, count it however you will. <laughs> so we'll do it one more time. Yeah. If you think that's 19 seconds or 4 milliseconds, you just go with your count. I get a lot of critiquing on my counting, and so... Uh, what I like to do when possible is to count the attack damage. Like, the heads are up roughly 5 seconds, but they do 4 hits of damage. That's what I go by, but... Uh, that is the spawning time, so let's go ahead and pick this up. We summon them faster, and we deal critical hits to enemies tarred by them. I wonder if they will themselves do critical hits. So let's get some dummies in here. I wish that switch was faster, too. That annoys me. Anyway, three dummies for three fossils. Alright. So these guys are tarred. Oh, yes. <laughs> that worked out beautifully, actually. I am surprised. I'm very surprised. So fossil forte. Summon traps faster. And I believe they were doing the 53 to 80 and the 16 to 24, so... 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi. Yeah. Maybe like... 50% mm, faster or something. I mean, it's not like a huge, it's not like instantaneous, you know, is the thing I'm getting at. Anyway, let's do this again. Let's get uh, four of them this time so we can play around a little bit longer. But pay attention, we should have the exact same damage numbers. 53 to 80, and then they do 24 to 16. That guy is tarred, so he's going to take crits. None of these guys got tarred, so let's make them tarred. There we go. And then they're all dead, aren't they? Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, I mean, it is what it is. So we've got that covered. Summon traps faster. Deal crits to tarred. Anyways, bottom line, let's try it with the Dino Dash before we go. So we're going to tar this clown. What? <laughs> okay, he is tarred. I'm going to wait until those guys dissipate. Here we go. 140. Beautiful. Love it. That's simple. This path, this whole path has been simple. This video could probably have been 10 or 12 minutes, but we had to talk about things at the start because I'm forced to do these sleep-induced Okay, so Matador Might, Dino Dash into a Fossil Trap to create a massive explosion. Let's actually try that right now, just to make this a little more interesting. There they are. They kind of explode now, but I would by no means call it massive. It's more of like a dissipation, really. It's the same way if I were to walk into them. I mean... You know, they just kind of go away. So, we've seen that aesthetic. You've got it fresh on your mind. Let's see what we get here with Matador Might. Dun, 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 dun. All right, here we go. We're going to come in. We're going to get this guy. We're going to do this. Okay, well, it killed him. I didn't see numbers there. <laughs> so, let's stick with... No, let's do four. I'll go ahead and max it out, so let's get this going. I love that move! I have no clue, I just saw a whole lot of numbers. <laughs> let's come down here and see if we can maybe uh, get a better visual for you. I'm gonna try to dash through all these. Okay. Maybe we can go to the dummies downstairs and get a better feel for that. I think in editing I could pick it out, but. Uh, right now, it is what it is. We're ready for the sword. I, I really like the sword. Well, it was very I fun. We tried to hit Eon's <laughs> head, if you didn't see it in Legendary Tri-Tip. That's incentive for you to go watch that if you have not. Never saw it coming. This bad boy is located in Scholarville, right? I think that's right. Don't hold me to it. Occasionally, a powerful asteroid falls from the sky and creates a devastating explosion. So you think, okay, cool, how do I control that? You don't. It's literally just... Every once in a while, one comes. 
<laughs> and the good news is you can know when they're coming because it kind of like the sky clouds up and there's like lightning strikes and whatnot. And that's what we will showcase here. So we're going to have an enemy handy. Two of them. We're just going to stand here and chill. And see, it's kind of a relatively cloud, or partly cloudy, you know, day. And, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing much. Uh oh, what's this? Rainforest Cafe? Oh! <laughs> 191. So they didn't even die. But it's cool. I mean, you got it. That's very unique. That's something that I love, is uniqueness in this game. So, will we see one again? This will kill them this time when it comes. But you get the feel for it, and you have to understand, like, if you're just there battling along, when you see that cloud sky, sky cloud up like this, <laughs> ah, perfect balance it just, it works really, really well in your favor. Actually, I need a couple more enemies so we can showcase that sky cheat. I'll just kind of wreck these dudes. And, uh, note that I, even though we just took this path, what do I do? I go straight to the base again. Sometimes you'll have paths that are numerically superior. Sometimes you'll have a community consensus that said path is superior. Here we go. Boom! Look at that. I love it. <laughs> but uh, what you need to do is if you're just going to use the mace, you take that mace path, regardless of what it is says. Uh, if your playstyle dictates that you should, you know, use the fossil traps, then you take that, even if everyone says the maze trap is better. However, never saw it coming. We'll have this guy handy just in case one shows up for you. 191 still. Here it comes. Did you see a critical? We did! I don't have to do the math now. That worked out beautifully. <laughs> so 191 to 287. Half of 191 would be, what, 95.5? Which would be 96, 191 and 96, yeah, 287, okay. Simple enough, that rarely happens. What we want to do now, though, is look at the Sky Chi. I accidentally used it, that's why I didn't get to do it at the start of this video, and one of our previous rant videos, my apologies there. But, uh, Sky Chi power, Mesozoic Mayhem, the ultimate sensei attack. Hold the right trigger, or accidentally press it like I do, to perform your Sky Chi power. Spin for the win. So, to baseline this, let's go to Legendary now. Never saw it coming, our Soul Gym, 191 to 287. With Legendary and the plus 10 attack differential, that jumps from 191 to 209 to 314. And then his Sky Chi for Legendary was 35 to 53 and 41 to 69-ish. So, that's very descriptive. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get all these guys in here so we can... Oh, no. That's the only downside, like, this is the only time that won't be appreciated. That's it, here we go. Sensei power! What, what? 32 to 48. I love yeah. when that happens. So 32 to 48 is what we need to know. I think there is an explosion towards the end <laughs> that I was probably logging there. Um, but, you know... We've got to fill the meter back up, and that's a pain. So, off we go. We're going to see if we can get a better feel for that final base upgrade out here. I was trying to hit Eon's head with the meteor last time. It's pretty funny, I thought. We nearly got it a couple of times. I mean, if the meteor was, con or the asteroid was consistent, we would have nailed him. And it would have been so awesome. That really would have been a great Easter egg, I have to say. <laughs> so, uh, any developers watching this, if you want to take your Easter egging to the next level, like, who's going to sit there and think of that, you know, from a player side, like, you know, if, if I get a little closer here, we're going to nail that guy. Uh, what these little trails are for, of course, they want me to go to Fizzland, do you want me to go to Fizzland, then you need to follow me on Twitter Beam and Twitter, because I will tweet before I go live on either one, so let's have Flynn talk to us. Thank you. Let me, the keys let me skip it. Why can't you? There we go. All right. So, here we are. And what are we going to showcase this bad boy right here? Matador Might. Dino Dash into a fossil trap to create a massive explosion. Now, does it just tar enemies? Oh, that's so cool. And that area of effect, you can see it so well here because of the different camera angle. But does it tar enemies or does it do damage? That's what I don't know. Is that a 207? Rise from your grave! 
140 and 207. Those numbers would not be together. The 140 is critical, uh, which we do because things are tarred. Off the dino dash. Man, I wish I could see these numbers, or, or they came slower. Type of thing. The 191. What was that? It's 138. This is a pain. It's a real pain. Was that a 138? I'm thinking the explosion must be the 138, right? Oh, that... Oh, the meteor! The asteroid wiped those out. Didn't it? That's cool. It's a 138. Now let's tar these ones. And dash into it. In charge. Is that a 24, though? Alright, 138 to 207 is what I'm thinking. Matador mine, 138 to 207. Would that be... Not 2207, that'd be crazy. Alright, would that be correct? Half of 138 is 69. 138 and 69, 190... Yeah, 207. So 138 to 207 on the explosion. Via explosion. Explosion. <laughs> Alright. I spelled that right, didn't I? Yes. I'm very tired. Uh, so 138 to 207 via explosion. Here we go, people. Particularly here in uh, Imaginators, it's always been, okay, which path do you like better? And I'm going to have to say hands down for tri-tip. And you always get hate on it when you say this, but like this is the order I did these. The top path, Paleolithic Pounder, suits my playstyle better. In my opinion, it delivers a more useful uh, set of moves, if you will. But uh, here's the thing on this one. I don't... I've seen this so many times in this game. Okay, our Dino Dash, let me just come out here and do this for you. You see that? It does 93, okay? Can you do that? Okay, watch. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I, I wondered if you they would allow us to do that or not, and the answer is yes. So, our Dino Dash, box stock, does what? I can't hear you. 93 to 140, right? That is correct. And the problem I have with that, it never really got addressed in the base upgrades, okay? And then you take the path dedicated to your secondary and tertiary attacks, because this one was, you know, pretty much strictly primary. We did nothing that increased the dino dash. We didn't increase the damage output. I mean, I'm talking like we could jump from 93 to even 100. 100 to 150, you know, on the critical side would have been fine. Just the plus 7. We could have had a bigger jump, like a 93 to a 120 sort of a thing that makes it like, oh man, you know, this is legit. This is going to be incentive for me to use this dino dash instead of the mace. But we didn't. So what is the other thing we can do if we don't increase the attack damage in the wonderful world, world of wisdom? We can utilize a speed boost, or in the case of the dash, a longer duration. Basically, instead of dashing from A to B, we can dash from A to B and B to C all in the same move. Okay, And we didn't get that. We're not going farther, we're not going faster, and we're not dealing more damage. And we face that across all three of these. And that really sucks. <laughs> because, once again, the most simplistic thing we could have done is increase the damage for the secondary attack, and we didn't do it. Adding insult to injury, we didn't increase the damage for the tertiary attack either. Good old uh, legendary tri-tip that's got Paleolithic Pounder, he's got the standard summon fossil traps, okay? And they do the same damage. They don't get the critical hit benefit, which, let's face it though, 
I think most people would want the increase in damage, particularly on a path dedicated to set attack. So it's kind of snubbed our secondary with no gain, and it's some snubbed the tertiary with no gain. The fact you can summon them faster, great. The fact that you get critical hits completely 100% of the time when enemies are tarred, fantastic. Fossil Forte, no beef with. Uh, it would have been better had they have increased either A, the damage, or B, the number of times that the traps, you know, like, they're still smacking four times, I believe, right? Let's confirm this so we're not too harsh on it. Yeah. So, they do the same damage, they do it over the same duration. Just coming in... The 53 to 80 can stay, the 16 to 24 can stay, but instead of just chewing the enemy four times, what if it chewed them five or six times? That's like increasing the damage, and if we didn't do that, give a 16 x5 for 80, maybe instead of doing 16 standard, we could have done 20 or 24. Not asking for the world here. Um, and again, if this was a base upgrade, you'd kind of be like, okay, it's building up for something. But the problem I have, this is in a path. <laughs> and it kind of makes you feel a little disappointed. Matador Might. Dino Dash into a fossil trap to create a massive explosion. Can't really complain about that one. All right, It does really nice damage. And what's beautiful about it is this upgrade path was dedicated to the secondary and the tertiary. That's what we address. That's what the Matador Might utilizes. Can't argue with it. The saving grace for this path is something that I don't know. And that is going to be the shield portion of historic preservation. Now, this could be a deal between you're going to live or you're going to die. Uh, this could be a situation where legendary tri-tip could be in, and my nephew could, I could be him, and my nephew could be standard tri-tip. We're taking the same hits from the super OP enemy in nightmare mode or something. I die, and he's got half of his health left because of historic preservation. Sadly, I have no way of showcasing it here. I will try to do so as soon as I can. I'll try to get some solid data for you. But it could be make or break. If it's a stupid deal where it's like I'm taking 12 damage and my nephew takes 11, or you know I take 120 a hit and he takes, you know, 115 a hit, not gonna be that significant. But if I'm taking 120 from every hit of, from an enemy, and then he takes like 90, that's gonna that's gonna be pretty uh, worth noting. So that I don't know because we can't log it here, but it could be the saving grace for this path. Now, the issue I've got with it, coupled with everything I just mentioned, you don't have a whole lot of incentive to use, to do the tertiary attack when you've got the mace that's so prolific as is with just the base upgrades, right? I feel like people that take this path are still going to be inclined to, whether they want to or not, spam the mace. If you can control yourself and always summon fossil traps and then dash through them, you'll be getting the full benefit of this path. But it's one of those things, if my nephew and I are in that said scenario taking 120 a pop, is he going to be like, all right, you know, I'm on Jurassic Justice, I better just summon fossil traps while Weasdom uses the mace and looks like he's having a great time. So again, a lot of it comes down to play style, but... Uh, if you were to put me on the spot and say you've got to pick one, which one would it be? Top path, no doubt. But like I said, this one should be interesting. It's not 100% unique. We've seen similar things to it, but the elements of having the tar show up uh, coupled with the asteroid, he's got a lot of cool features going. I think I am actually going to enjoy this path. I should probably have said that at the start before people dislike the video and rail on me in the comments section. But uh, if I had to pick, you know, if I only had one tri-tip, I can only take one path, it's a life death decision. I'm going with this because I'm going to use it more. It suits my play style with tri-tip better. However, the beauty of having an alt deco, you can have both paths active. And I think I'll actually uh, enjoy this change of pace. I will have to restrain myself from, like, using his mace because I absolutely love it. But uh, it'll kind of be fun, you know, to go around tarring enemies... 
<laughs> uh, having T-Rex heads or raptor heads pop out and chew on stuff and then dashing through it and exploding things, all while asteroids fall from the sky. I think it'll be fun, and the saving grace for this path, or something that could really, really make this path OP, is all hinging on what the shield does. Maybe you're totally immune to damage for the five seconds. Uh, you know, maybe it's, you know, I take 20, you take 19. If, you know, we just don't know yet on that, so it's kind of still, the j verdict is out. But uh, overall, I think I will enjoy this. And like I said, that's the beauty of having two, in this case, an alt deco with legendary. And uh, what I will do is I will try to alternate them when we use them in the playthroughs, which we can do now because we have the Soul Gym and the Sky Chi. I'm super excited about it. But what we will be able to do is uh, come in and I will just, you know, try to use Legendary, and then the next time I have a situation I want to use Tri-Tip, I'll come in and we'll use Standard, and we'll kind of compare and contrast the paths there. But if I had to pick one, top path. If I had to say which one is more unique, bottom path. Um, suited my playstyle, top path. What I would recommend for most people, top path. Uh, if you're looking for the more unique path, or maybe the more challenging one, probably the bottom. But... Uh, that's that, man. That is Jurassic Justice. I'm excited about it. Looking forward to playing it in-game. My apologies about the start of these videos, but uh, like I said, I work under extreme time constraints. I shouldn't be doing this right now. I should be asleep. And if I just upload the videos and don't cover the stuff I do at the start, and that's also why I put it there, then I get another inundation of, hey, you get unboxed creation crystals. Hey, where's Jingle Bell Chompy Mage? Did you not get him? Hey, did you know Wave 3 is out? So I try to front load that stuff. And people that have been around long enough, you know where to cycle to, roughly 8 to 12 minutes. You know you're going to find the sweet spot. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping I can uh, crank these out and, you know, not be under such time constraints. And that will allow me to sort of enjoy myself a little, more, a little bit more, not be as flipping tired as well. And most importantly, uh, just have a better time doing it. So, uh, that said, I think the plan is, I don't know what tomorrow will bring. I'm thinking we may move in and... I won't tell you. I'll leave you guessing on the Skylander research side. But next thing we do will be the Fire Sensei Realm. I've mentioned it many times, and I've been getting a lot of people complaining. I haven't been in there, uh, and I think they're all oblivious to me mentioning that's where we're going to go. But uh, that said, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. If you were unaware, uh, the new Skylanders, and I do mean new, uh, should be hitting a store near you. Hopefully you can pick them up on a discounted price. Hopefully you can find the creation crystals you want. But uh, give me your feedback on that. Let me know on Tri-Tip which path do you prefer and why. So uh, let me know if you agree with my assessment that uh, Paleolithic Pounder is the better path or if you think, oh, this guy's crazy. Jurassic Justice is great. Also, uh, remember, I was curious, Legendary Tri-Tip, what does he look like with the new horns on Historic Preservation? And two, if anyone has any insights on the shield, if it's super amazing, uh, and you take no damage, or if it's a situation, uh, I assume you don't, because it says less, but you never know, this game is sometimes vague in that manner. Uh, or if you've, like, calculated it and you know exactly the numbers that you take and don't take. Uh, feel free to share them for everyone's benefit in the comments section. That said, bonus brick in the wall of Weezum. Hashtag Jurassic Justice. That's what we will go with. We'll keep it simple. That'll get you a bonus brick in the wall of Weezum, and Weezum plays Minecraft. You can check that out. Find more information in the description box down below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I will tweet before I go live. I will also tweet all of my videos. Uh, you can like me on Facebook. Circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Oneweezum.com is my personal website. Also encourage you to check out Skylander Club form at skylanderclub.com if you're super into Skylanders. That said, my apologies for Ram I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I am dead tired. <laughs> Gotta edit this, get it uh, rendered so I can upload it when I leave for work in the morning. And hopefully have it ready uh, to go live sometime tomorrow afternoon. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm excited about playing this. I really am. I know it sounds like, and I do prefer the top path, but I, I think this one has some, should be fun uh, to see it in action, needless to say. So, stay tuned for that as we blind stream. Literally, you know, blind playthrough, live stream, blind stream. Maybe that's a new word we just created. Uh, Skylanders Imaginators, I'll catch you back here for our next installment of Skylanders Research.